Hi, it's Phil from Inclusive Music, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to get started recording your own instrument in BandLab. Let's go! Once you've logged into BandLab for Education, find Hampton Roads Chamber Players, and then click Start Here. You're going to learn how to record and get to the mix editor. If you click show more, you can see the tasks one to 14 in step order. These instructions can also be seen once you're in the assignment itself. Click on start assignment. Now click teachers assignment. You want to capture your voice or any sound. So click on voice mic. In the top left hand corner here, you'll be asked if you want to use the microphone. And we want to allow that. Now you can see in this area here, there's a monitor picking up your voice or your instrument. Clap to see if the green light on the voice mic moves. Play your instrument and move as near as you can to your laptop computer. If the light turns red, you're too near. When you're ready, click on the red circle to start recording. Now press stop with the red square. You should now see a waveform of your recording. Rewind to the start and listen. If you can play it better, re-record it. You can do this in a number of ways. You can mute your original recording and therefore when it plays, you don't hear it. And then you could add a track, click on the voice mic, and you can see a new track has arrived, rewind and Play it again. If you're happy with your work, save it. Go to the top right hand corner and click save. There is another way to start recording. Let's go back. I go into the top left hand corner and exit and go to the classroom. So when we get into the classroom, instead of going to view assignment, you may just want to record your own piece from scratch. Um, to do this, you can see the instruction here. Click on the folder with a note icon at the top of the screen, my library, which is here. Click on there and go to mix editor and we get to that same place that we've been before. So we're going to voice mic. And instead of the instructions being here for the assignment, we've just got a blank canvas as it were. But we do the same thing. We arm the mic by clicking here. We can now see that the voice mic is coming through. It's picking up my vocal and you're ready to record again. Once you've recorded here, it will be saved in your library, in your personal area. So let's have a quick go at this. Now, 
Now, before I save it, I'm going to change the name. So I might call that Airhu, which is to remind me the instrument that I played it on. Now I'm going to go to save and the project saved. Now you can see up at the top left hand corner, instead of exit, it says go to library. And this latest track has been added to my library. Now you won't see all of these because I've been busy creating lots of different songs. But the last one's there, I can hear it here. And there are a number of options. If I go to the ellipsis here, I can open it in the mix editor where we've just been. I can rename the track, copy the project, or share it with other people in the school. I can click on that link and it's copied to the clipboard. And then I can send it to someone that I want to work together or collaborate with.